of another FinTech Insider. We're live here at Cybo, Sam Mall, managing partner for 11FS here in North America. And this one I've been looking forward to this interview because we're with Linda Finley Kozlowski, and I'm from Detroit, and that is a <laughs> that is a Polish good name. Yes. name. I love it. <laughs> with Etsy, COO for Etsy. Yeah. What I like most though about you is your background. Because yes. if I was to look at Etsy, I wouldn't say a journalism major from North Carolina. Yep. Lived in Hong Kong with Alibaba. Yep. Evernote. Yep. And now Etsy. Yeah. How did you plan that career path? Well, I, you know, planning a career path is something very different, but I consider myself extremely lucky. I've always been um, passionate about working for brands that I care about, that I can wake up in the morning and feel like I'm doing something impactful. And those choices have actually led me in a really great direction. But I also think a lot about um, myself versus our you know, Etsy sellers is a lot of them have decided, okay, I was down this one path and now I want to change and I want to add something else to my career. I want to have a creative outlet. I want to do something meaningful. And that's what they do. And kind of I've done the same thing. I follow a path of what I'm passionate about and what I care about and, and think about how I can evolve that and make an impact on the world. Without sounding like I'm kissing up too much, that is the truth of Etsy. I say that because yeah. my wife makes yeah. jewelry yeah. and Etsy's the natural yeah. platform for it. So you yeah. think about how many people, when you're at Alibaba, same thing. You're yes. introducing an entire Absolutely. population into yeah. the middle class by doing that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's sort of this concept of everyone ignores the small business or the micro business as we solve. Um, you know, they're, they're really focused on how do I get the big contracts for the big dollars. But the reality is most of the jobs, most of the economy is driven by small businesses. And so we need to actually protect and nurture them and find new ways that they can actually evolve and grow. And so I did that at Alibaba. Um, Evernote actually was very focused on entrepreneurship and small businesses. And you know, same thing at Etsy. It's really about how do we use technology to actually take the individual and give them the power of the mass. So you take, I know this has come up a million times. We're at Cybo's biggest banking yeah. conference in the world. The lessons that you can lift from Alibaba. Yeah which do go global, but you also had the uniqueness of China, which right. you saw, right? Yes. So how does that apply in a, in a world of Etsy? What can you lift out of that? The, the challenges they have from getting the marketplace just outside the borders of China yeah. and, and evolving yeah. that into a global platform. Well, when I was at Alibaba.com, think about what Alibaba, you know, Alibaba.com was created to actually serve that original platform right. to serve small businesses, small businesses in China connecting to small businesses in the rest of the world those businesses in the rest of the world wanted to source goods and items that most factories wouldn't touch because they needed a higher quantity. And then that expanded and it was sellers all over the world, not just in China, that were selling on Alibaba.com. And then buyers all over the world who were actually buying from the platform. So if you're a restaurant owner and you need five tables for your, for your restaurant, um, most factories don't want to produce that small of an amount. And so you needed a connection of somebody who would actually say, okay, I can make what you need to help small businesses grow. Very similar concept, but just for a different type of audience. What we're looking at now at Etsy is really about how do you actually encourage the 1.8 million creative entrepreneurs that we have in the world to be able to sell their creative goods all over the world and not have to worry about the platform to do that on. We take care of that. Yeah, it's amazing that we are we're in the age of platforms yes. and operating systems, yes. right? Whether it's Facebook, Google, yes. Alibaba, Jack Ma, your former yeah. boss, his line when he was talking to Walmart and said, for Walmart to go out and get 10,000 new customers, I gotta build a building logistics. Yeah. For me, two servers. Yes. Every talk I give, yes. Jack yeah. goes in there. And that's the magic of the platform. And I love that, and I'm wondering how that goes over at a conference like this, the magic of the platform. Yeah. I think that's the nervousness within banking, right? They look at tech, the relationship you actually have with your customers. And I'm gonna say this, Etsy, right? Actually, my whole, whole wardrobe since I got out of banking, t-shirt wise, <laughs> Etsy, right? And everybody loves the t-shirts and they're fantastic. Yeah. Need to make them for shorter men, by the way. That's my one, <laughs> if you could find somebody would do five, eight and under. contact the sellers directly and ask them to do that. Can I tell them I talked to the COO you and can. please yeah, ask absolutely. for that? Um, what, I, I, and I, I am curious on this because you have worked at great companies. Evernote, again, yeah. one of my stayed, uh, applications on my phone. What's been the biggest surprise working at Etsy? What have you looked at and gone, oh, I didn't think this would be? Well, for me, it's really part of what I'm here to talk about is it is the economic power of this amazing creative micro entrepreneur. Like, you know, at Alibaba, we serve small businesses. 
Here at Etsy, we're basically serving micro businesses, meaning one or two people. 77% of our sellers are actually individuals. 90% of them, 97% of them, excuse me, work from home, and 87% of them are women. So we're actually helping them enable a whole way of life where they can choose how they want to work, how they want to build their careers, and how they want to build their income, and we can give them the platform to do it. But the thing is, everyone thinks about you know, doing good actually is at odds with a business model. It doesn't need to be. And that's what we're hoping to actually communicate to banks today is by leveraging technology and by leveraging platforms and not being afraid of them, you can actually have great economic opportunity with a lot of efficiency. I, I got to circle back to make sure I heard that right. Did you say 87%? 87% are women. So it's really, really a, a female empowerment platform if you want to think about it that way as well. That's a good tagline. You should use it. And that's a good way to finish. Linda? Thanks. Thank you so much. Love Etsy.